all heard of COVID-19, the disease responsible for the pandemic and the ever-changing world we are currently living in. It's known that COVID-19 mainly affects older generations, with only 2% of confirmed cases in children. But what if I told you that COVID-19 is tied to a syndrome that not only affects children, but is also related to rare heart disease? Let me introduce the multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, aka MASC, a condition which first appeared in COVID-19 hotspots in April of 2020. MASC causes different body parts to become inflamed, resulting in prolonged fever, abdominal pain, and rash. There are about 200 cases worldwide, and 92% of patients in New York tested positive for COVID-19 or its antibodies. Although we do not know the exact cause of MISC, the evidence indicates an inexplicable relation to COVID-19. But before we get into the details of COVID-19 and its related syndrome, we must trace back our steps to investigate Kawasaki disease. Kawasaki disease is the number one heart disease in children in the U.S. and Japan, with 6,000 cases per year. The symptoms vary from patient to patient, including high fever, red eyes, rash, strawberry tongue, and swollen hands and feet. Despite being discovered in 1967, the exact cause of Kawasaki disease remains uncertain. However, it is theorized that a virus pushes a child's immune system into overdrive, resulting in inflammation. So now that we've gained understanding of Kawasaki disease, how is MISC related to it? Well, it turns out MISC and Kawasaki disease have many striking similarities. Both MISC and Kawasaki disease cause inflammation in the heart and share common symptoms such as rash and fever. Intravenous immunoglobulin, or IVIG, treatment for Kawasaki disease has also reduced fever and inflammation in MISC patients. However, Kawasaki disease leads to significant heart damage in about 25% of cases when untreated, whereas MISC can lead to more serious heart damage. MISC also affects young adults, while Kawasaki disease usually affects 2-3 to three year old children. So now that I've unveiled some key information about MISC and Kawasaki disease, let's return to the topic at hand. How does this deepen our understanding of COVID-19? Actually, this is a question that has not yet been fully answered. The exact cause of MISC is not yet known. However, new research is being conducted by doctors every day to better understand COVID-19 and its effects on Kawasaki disease-related conditions. Dr. Jane Burns of the Kawasaki Disease Research Center explains that the variety of physical symptoms can mean different triggers cause inflammation similar to Kawasaki disease, and that the virus responsible for COVID-19 could be one of those triggers. Similarly, the majority of MISC patients do not test positive for COVID-19, but rather for its antibodies, signaling that they've already recovered and that a post-infection response causes children's immune system to overreact. COVID-19 has given doctors a better understanding of what might cause Kawasaki disease-like conditions, but much of COVID-19 and its effects still remain a mystery. But by educating ourselves and never resting in a search for knowledge, we are taking small steps towards finding answers to the world's unanswered questions in the face of a pandemic.